Hello and welcome to News Review from BBC Learning English. I'm Neil and it seems like it's been a long time coming but finally today it is the US elections. With me to discuss how it's being talked about in the news is Georgina. Hi Georgina. Hi Neil, hi everyone. So the US election is on Tuesday and we recorded this on Monday when the candidates were in their final day of campaigning. OK, well, if you want to test yourself on the vocabulary that you learn today, you can find a quiz on our website, bbclearningenglish.com. OK, let's now hear from this BBC News report for some more information on our story. Donald Trump and Joe Biden will spend their final day of campaigning in the key American states that are expected to decide who will become the next US president in tomorrow's election. The Democratic challenger, Mr Biden, is ahead in most polls, but his lead has been narrowing. So, today is the US election and Trump and Biden have been campaigning hard to get as many votes as possible. They've been travelling to the swing states to ensure that they do this. Now, the swing states are important because this is, uh, these are the states where it's not sure who will win. Um, now, the US election is interesting because the winner isn't the person who wins the most votes across the entire country. It's all about the Electoral College. OK, well, you've been scanning the world's media and you've picked out three words and expressions we can use to talk about this story. What are they? They are blitz, shore up and final sprint. Blitz, shore up and final sprint. So let's start with your first headline, please, Georgina. The first headline is from the Financial Times and it is Trump and Biden in final swing state blitz under shadow of COVID. Blitz. Organised special effort to deal with a problem quickly. Yes, so blitz is spelt B-L-I-T-Z. Now, I don't know if you know much about your history, uh, Neil. Well, I do know the word blitz is not English. It comes from German and it was used to describe a kind of warfare, blitzkrieg, a lightning war. But this headline has nothing to do with that, does it? No, it's not to do with a uh, lightning war or war in itself. What it's to do with is the dramatic effort that has been made in this case to win the presidential election. So um, there's... Uh, the similarity between blitz, as in the German meaning you're talking about, and blitz here is the kind of dramatic kind of feeling that uh, we're getting that both the campaigners are working extremely hard to get as many votes as possible. OK, well, we use this uh, in two different ways, don't we? We, we can use it as a noun or um, as a verb in a phrase. Exactly. And it doesn't have to be uh, used to talk about, you know, serious topics like a presidential uh, election. It can simply be used to talk about cleaning your kitchen so that it is spotless. So last weekend, my flatmate and I blitzed, we blitzed the kitchen. OK. And that doesn't mean that you attacked it with weapons. It means that you just... No, we didn't. But we did attack it in the sense that we used lots of cleaning products. We went into all the corners. We dusted everywhere. And it is now absolutely spotless. Right. Likewise, my children's rooms were absolutely awful. So messy and untidy. I, I demanded that they had a blitz on their room. Exactly. So in that sentence, you used it as a noun. And in the sentence I just used before, I used it as a verb. OK, let's have a summary of that word. Our next expression is a phrasal verb. And if you would like to learn more about phrasal verbs, there's a video that you can watch, isn't there, Georgina? There is. Just click on the link below. OK, so let's have your next headline. So my next headline is from CNN Politics and it is Trump and Biden race to shore up votes in final hours before Election Day. Shore up, help support something to make sure it doesn't fail. Yeah, and this is made up of two words. It's actually a phrasal verb. And the first word is spelt S-H-O-R-E and the second one is spelt U-P. OK, Georgina, this is easy, isn't it? I know what a shore is. A shore is where the land and the sea meet, uh, for example, on an island. That's right, isn't it? 
it is right, but actually in this case, we're using it to talk about something that physically supports something else. So for example, a piece of wood that supports a building. Um, you could use it to talk about a building, a wall, anything that supports something else. So you could say, we shored up the wall with uh, to stop it falling over. But in this case, because obviously Trump and Biden haven't got a piece of wood and have nailed it up, uh, they're not using it uh, physically, they're using it figuratively. So here, what they're trying to do is to um, ensure that they get as many votes as possible. And to do that, they're visiting a lot of places, a lot of places where there's uh, possible swing votes uh, to ensure that they try and get as many as they can. OK, so sure here is not the thing I was talking about where the water and the land meet. It's actually a piece of wood used to support a building, uh, but here used in a figurative sense to just mean give support to something. Yeah, uh, for another example would be she used the information, she used hard evidence to shore up her argument. OK, you can shore up an argument as well. Yes, good example. Shall we have a summary? If you would like to watch another video about the US election, we have one about the rapper Kanye West, who, if you remember a while ago, said he was going to run for president as well. I think he's a little bit late onto that one now, but uh, where can they find the link, Georgina? They can find it below. <laughs> OK, let's have a look at your next headline. The next headline is from Al Jazeera and it is Biden-Trump campaigns enter final sprint US election news. Final sprint, last big effort in a campaign. Yes, and uh, it's made up of two words. The first word is final, F-I-N-A-L, and the second word is sprint, S-P-R-I-N-T. OK, Georgina, well, I, I know what a sprint is. It's uh, when you run really, really fast. Now, the interesting thing about this election is both candidates, both Trump and Biden, they're not young guys, you know, they're in their 70s, uh, similar age to my dad. And my dad is a, a kind of fit and healthy guy, but not even he can really sprint anymore. So what are we talking about here? Well, yeah, we're, they're using it in a, in a figurative sense again. So what they're using it to mean is that they have made a huge effort to um, in the last section of their presidential campaign to get as many votes as possible. So I suppose at the beginning, they were a bit more relaxed about it. But as uh, you know, the US election comes closer and closer, particularly, you know, today, and uh, as we come to the, you know, who find out who has actually won, they're going to work as hard as they can to get as many votes as possible. Okay, so you might also use this, for example, to talk about preparation for an exam where you maybe you spend an hour every day for weeks and weeks preparing but just leading up to the exam you you get into the final sprint you 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 study for four or five hours every day just that final big effort yeah exactly that's a really good example and we must remember we can use it to talk about you know a phys an actual marathon or you know a tour de france race uh, where, you know, at the beginning of the race, these are very long races, you're probably a bit more relaxed as a marathon runner or, a, you know, a cyclist. But towards the end or coming to uh, the finish line, you're, you're probably going to make a, you know, a little sprint, a fast sprint to get across uh, the, the winning line, maybe. OK, so we can use it literally as well. Let's have a summary of that. <laughs> Time now, Georgina, for a recap of our vocabulary, please. Yes, yeah, so we've got blitz, organised special effort to deal with a problem quickly. And we have shore up, help support something to make sure it doesn't fail. And final sprint, last big effort in a campaign. If you want to test yourself, go to our website, bbclearningenglish.com. You can find all kinds of other things to help you improve your English and, of course, we are all over social media. Thanks for joining us and goodbye. Bye.